Hey there, welcome to another episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host, Mondane. This video is part of my controller collection series, and today we're going to be talking about nothing but the Sega Genesis. Hi, my name is Mondane. Um, I'm a controller addict and I've uh, been a while since I bought my last controller uh, this is my, my second meeting for this and um, you know it, I just I like that feeling of having enough controllers where all of my friends can play games because it's, it's it's more about them than me they they're the ones who need it it's they need to be able to play to have fun not my fault it's not my fault i roll it all right next up on the controller collection is going to be the Genesis three button controller. Now there's a diff, a lot of different variations of color. There's red here, or if there's no paint here, or if it's all indented, if there's red in the buttons, all kinds of different variations here. But it's your basic three button controller. Um, it's the game controller created by Sega for use with the console. Features three buttons, A, B, and C. Uh, just mainly for actions a really nice directional pad for movement i like the raised solidness of this uh, it's similar in design to the um uh to to like the master system kind of um and the, most of these were uh packaged with a console and of course the second player was always available sold separately this is the genesis six button controller created in 1993 by sega for use with the genesis it features six buttons a b c and x y z for actions and a wonderful directional pad it's really nice and lifted uh, has a lot of good tactile feedback the controller was released as an accessory for the sega genesis and it was designed for basically more advanced gameplay it also has a mode button up here to change between three button and six button mode However, there are a few games that actually use the mode button for a different function. This was definitely a preferred controller for the fighting game fans with the Sega Genesis because games like Street Fighter required six buttons, Super Nintendo had six buttons, Sega Genesis only had three until this controller came out. Uh, this is a really good pad and I can definitely see why fighting game fans prefer it. Next, we have two controllers. Here is the off-brand by Performance, which is actually not bad. And here is the original by Sega. This one, I believe, was released with the Sega Genesis Model 3. It, has, it still has the mode button to select between three button and six button mode. It has uh, a slow function and a turbo function. It was really odd back then to see a first party controller with turbo. Uh, it's a six button controller, obviously. Uh, it's the MK1470. It's a special, it's a specific model uh, of the Genesis six button controller. Um, and yeah, it's it's actually a lot of fun. It's it's kind of compact, but I like it. It, it still fits well in the hand just for being how small it is. Next up, we have the SG Pro Pad 6. This is a third party controller for the Sega Genesis video game system. It's six buttons, but there are two more up top. It's mainly designed to mimic the layout of the official Sega Genesis six button controller. The controller is actually a really nice ergonomic design and it's pretty comfortable to play with. That's manufactured by performance is marketed as an alternative for the official Sega controller. 
Uh, it has a lot of turbo functionality as well. And I believe this one was one of the few that you could actually program macros into it. Although it's been a very long time since I've actually used this controller. Last but not least, we have my light gun. Now there's not really a lot of information on this one, but a lot of the stuff that applies to the Justifier applies to this gun as well. Um, now the Justifier was created by Konami. This was created by the American Laser Games uh, Game Gun is the name of it. So uh, American Laser Games came out with this one. I like this one a lot better than the Justifier just because of how well it fits in the hand. And uh, it, it's just kind of a beefy handle. It feels great. It has a metal trigger, uh, has a very nice click to it. It still has the start button on the side and stuff. So a lot of the stuff that applies for the Justifier applies to this as well. Uh, it's mainly for the Lethal Enforcer series, but it, there are a few Sega CD games that are compatible with this as well. I really did enjoy this gun quite a bit, especially playing Lethal Enforcers with it. It still connects to the system with a nine pin connector. And honestly, this is probably one of the higher quality light guns for the system, even though it's an off brand. Uh, I, I have used several light guns and I consider myself a little bit of a light gun snob. And uh, this is definitely the light gun that I prefer on the Genesis. And that's it for this episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host, Mondane, and I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed making it. I have videos on the 1st and 15th of every month, and I look forward to sharing them with you. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a wonderful day.